name of Jesus. Lord Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you to acknowledge you, to welcome you this morning, to welcome you in our life, to, to give you the glory and the honor as we worship you, Lord. You are the worthy God, my Father and my God. I bring this meeting to you, Lord. I bleed the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Fall upon this meeting. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I throw a war fire over this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. I commit all our family into your hand, God. I commit our partners. I commit all those who are following me in our uh, in periscope, in, in, in our prayers, in prayer and fasting. Those who are, who are God, who have denied themselves to come and worship with us, God. I commit them to you. I commit them to your presence, God. My Father, my God, I ripped up your name, God, to honor you, God, my Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, I command every works of the enemy, every activities of the enemy to be silenced in the mighty name of Jesus. I am casting out every forces of the enemy, forces of darkness, for evil voice, vo voices that is speaking against us, speaking against our, our meeting, speaking against our prayers. Let them be silenced in Jesus' name. Let the ground open and be swallowed in Jesus' name. A very wicked personality and individuals that does not like our prayers. Let the ground open and be swallowed in Jesus' name. My Father, my God, as we pray this morning, God, we bleed the blood of Jesus. We come before you, before your presence, God, to honor you, God, to thank you, Father. Marvelous God, move upon our life. Move, move, God. Hallelujah. Glory be the name of Jesus. Move upon us, God. Move from, from the head to the toe of our life, my Father. Move into our organs. Move into our body, my God. Move every part of our body, God, my Father. Where pain is hiding, Lord, my Father, move. Let the Holy Spirit move upon our body in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, breathe in, in us a fresh, again, 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 fresh, fresh hair, God. Breathe again to us, my my father oh god fill us afresh fill us afresh god my father fill us afresh god as we have come before you before your presence god thank you heavenly father thank you lord in the mighty name of jesus christ i pray amen 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 i want to welcome everyone those who have come welcome welcome in the name of jesus Welcome, I welcome you this morning. God bless you for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. I'm going to talk the subject called The Lord will defeat your enemies. The Lord will defeat your enemies. Our God will defeat your enemies. Your enemies will rise up against you, but the Bible says the Lord Almighty will defeat them in the mighty name of Jesus. And I'm going to read from the book of Deuteronomy, the book of Deuteronomy 28 verse 7. The book of Deuteronomy 28 verse 7. The Bible says that the Lord will grant thee that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. The Bible says the Lord will grant that the enemies, that the enemies, who rise up against you will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction, but flee from you. Seven. When the Bible says that the Lord shall, shall cause your enemies be, to, to flee before you in seven ways, what does it mean? What does it mean when God says that your enemy will flee from you seven ways? The, you are, God will defeat your enemy. The enemy will be paralyzed. The enemy will be confused. Then they will run seven ways. They will come in one direction. They will come in one door. They will enter in one door. But when the Lord will strike them, they will fly through the window, through the floor. They will look everywhere where they can run away for their safety. Because it is a very hard hit. Therefore, I pray that God hit my enemy, slice my enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, my God, my God, I want to thank you this morning, God. My God, thank you, Father, for this word. 
What does it mean? It means that God shall make your enemies to fear your word, voice, and shall be afraid of out their closest place. In the book of uh, uh, Isaiah 54, verse, verse 15, when the, when the Lord says that your enemy would be flee seven times, according to the scripture from the book of Isaiah 54, verse, 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 five, verse 15, it, is, it means that, it means, hallelujah, it means that God shall make your enemies to fear your word. The Lord will make your enemies to fear your word. That's why the enemies, the enemies, they, when they hear your word, they hear your voice, they, 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 they are afraid of, and they will run to their closest place. They will run from where they are hiding. Wherever enemies are anywhere they are hiding, where they are listening your prayers, where they are hiding to come and attack you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I am sending fire. Fire of God. Fire of God consume them. Fire of God consume them. Wherever your enemies, where your enemies is being hiding, whether in your head, in your eyes, in your teeth, in your heart, in your livers, in your intestine, in your belly, everywhere, in your back. Some people, they are having bend, 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 bend back. They can't stand straight. Some, the, the, the enemy is hiding in their feet, in their nail, in their nail. Therefore, I command that enemy that wherever you are hiding there, get out of the person. Get out of that place. The Bible said, where you are hiding, get out in the name of Jesus. Out! Out in the name of Jesus. I cast you by the power and the blood of Jesus. Because the Bible says, the Lord will defeat you. And you will run from your hiding place that where you are hiding in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are hiding in the eyes, if you are hiding in the nails, in the, in the feet, in the legs, in the head, wherever, any, anywhere, any place you are hiding, the word of God is against you. As you hear this voice, run, get out in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, my Father, the Bible says, Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not with me. Was whatsoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for the sake in the mighty name of jesus yes my god they will fall down and die in the name of jesus the word of god is clear the word of the word of god is secure itself the word of god is so powerful that the enemy cannot stand when the bible says it is true that the enemy will run away for their for their for their, for for, their, for, 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 for where, where they are being hiding they will run away when they hear your voice in the mighty name of jesus my god thank you where whatsoever gathers against thee shall fall for their sake wherever gathered against you anywhere where evil, evil, wicked people are gathered against you, against me, against the work of God, they will fall down and die. They will be scattered in the name of Jesus. They will not complete their meeting. They will be confused and run in the name of Jesus. My God and my Father, I want to thank you, Jesus. Yes, my God. You are, I, you are, you are enemies who fear your words. In Psalms 18, verse 43 to 45, the enemy will fear your words. The Bible says the enemy will fear your words. When they hear your words, your voice, they have to run. They cannot, they don't want to reason that. That's why the witches, witches, they gather together to think they have been having press conference, how to attack me, how to attack the work of God that I'm doing. But when they hear the word from me, they scatter. They run away. That's why a woman called me to beg me and, and tell me that, that this prayer, I'm killing so many people. I'm taking people to hellfire. To hellfire. And when I ask this woman, give me the list of the people that I have killed. And I don't send people to hellfire. It is them who run and they enter into hellfire. And hell, hell and heaven belongs to God. I don't have hell. I don't have heaven. But what I know, I want people to go to heaven. I pray that people will be saved. And it is the power of God to, to see, to make, to take people to heaven. It is God who will take people to heaven. I don't have heaven to take people. It is an eight the hell. So let, let the witches and wizards, let every enemy who hear my voice now, by the power in the blood of Jesus, be scattered, be scattered, 
be scattered, be scattered and confused in the mighty name of Jesus. My God, I want to thank you, Father. I want to bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Your enemies will fear your words. In the book of Psalms 18, verse 43, you have delivered you have delivered me from the attacks of the people you have made me the head of nations people i do not know are subjected to me as soon as they hear me they will obey me foreigners foreigners crash before me they they all lose heart they come trembling from their stronghold in the mighty name of jesus my god my father i command every foreigners in your body every every anything that you don't know in the mighty name of jesus when they hear the voice when they hear you they will run away those are foreigners anything that you don't know in your body anything that you you have no idea that is a foreigner that is an enemy that is the work of the devil they will tremble and run away they will get out of your life in the name of jesus my god i thank you god because we have been given authority. We have been given power. We have been given power against every works of the devil. You will command and the word that comes from your mouth is so powerful that even people who does not know you, they will obey you and start serving you. That is the authority Jesus Christ has given us in the mighty name of Jesus. You will connect with people who does not know you and they will obey everything you are saying because God is with us. Who can be against us in the name of Jesus? Let the enemy Amen. confuse themselves. Let the enemy be scattered in the name of Jesus. God is able Amen. and he has delivered us and he has given us the, the, the enemies. In, he has put our enemies into our feet. Therefore, we will see what we can do to our enemy. Our enemy has no power. They have nothing to do with our life. We should not fear our enemies. They are nothing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, my Amen. God. Yes. Uh, uh, let's look in the book of Isaiah 59, verse 19. God promised that he shall raise up a standard for you when the enemy shall come up against you. When the enemy come against you, the Lord will, will as promised, he will raise up a standard to fight in the mighty name of Jesus. Every enemy, every enemy that is rising against you, against your children, against your family, the Lord will raise up a standard against them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is the promise of God. As we, 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 we are meditating and confessing the scriptures, because these scriptures have been put there for you to meditate and declare a war against your enemies. Everything that is working against your life is about enemies. The enemies are really and they are, they are damaged people. They have made people live miserable. People have been suffered and been attacked and, and, been, and been tortured every day, every time because of the enemies. The enemies that are living in within. The enemies that are living in their body. The enemies that are living in their body. That is sickness, that is disease, that is poverty. You are so blocked. You have nothing. You don't have money. You, you, you are almost like a beggar. And you are living maybe in America, Canada, Europe, and in Africa. And you are a child of God. The child of the devil is enjoying having, driving big, big car, living in big houses. And you are a child of God. You are suffering. You work and nothing, you, you, nothing comes in your hand. The enemy has broke all the ways. They have shit on your, your certificate. They have, they have made everything miserable. That is a lie. The Lord will make a standard. The Lord has promised that he will raise up a standard. A standard and fight, fight, fight for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Meditate the scriptures. Isaiah 59 verse, verse 19. God has promised that he shall rest. He shall rest a standard for you. When the enemy shall come against you. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and the east glory, from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against them. The spirit of the Lord will arise, as, uh, will arise, will arise, hallelujah. The spirit of the Lord will arise as standard. The spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against them. 
the, 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 the spirit of God will rise a standard. What the, the, the Lord says that the Lord will rise up a standard against them. What does that mean? The Lord will mess up with them. The Lord will war against them. The spirit is a killer. That spirit will kill you straight away. The witchcraft that is rising against me, if they are not one to, to bend, as, the, as I prophesied last night, they will not wake up. All of them, the ground will, will open and they will be swallow them in the name of Jesus. This is not a joke. Wherever they are, witchcraft, wherever you are, if you cannot repent and cry to God, you will not make it. The ground is going to open and you will be swallowed alive. You will be missing. People will look for you. You, they, you will not be found. You will be dead, 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 uh, 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 dead, dead, very painful dead. You, either you will burn to ashes, life, fire will consume you in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy against every witches and wizard who cut people, Satanist people, that have sold their, their soul to the devil. Now they want to threaten the people of God. They want to threaten the children of God. They want to threaten the prophet of God. I am rising up my voice to the throne of God. And I present myself to heaven. Therefore, heaven has declared a, a dead sentences against you. You shall die and your family. You will not prosper. Your words will not prosper in Jesus' name. I am condemning you. I am prophesying against you by the power and the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, I want to thank you, Father. I give you the glory in the name of Jesus. I destroy by fire the habitation of serpentine, serpentines in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come against every serpentine portion in your life. I command them to die. Serpentine and scorpion, that is moving in your body. Maybe sometimes you feel things moving in your body. You just wonder what is this? Those are serpentine and scorpion, the witches as programmed in your body. That, those are the ones that are moving. Sometimes combo webs. You feel like things are on your eyes, things are covering you. You feel like, like you are in a land, another world. You don't feel yourself. Those are the witchcraft combo webs. They are programmed in you. Therefore, I pray that serpentine and scorpion in your body, in your blood, let them catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Any, any body appearing to you as a serpent in your dreams appear and die in the name of Jesus. In your dream, every satanic dream, that dream you had, terrible dream you had last night, let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I command them to, be, to, to, to go back to the center. Every dreams that you had, the dreams from Satan, the dreams from witchcraft, the dreams from God shall prosper, shall come to pass. But satanic dream, witchcraft dream, I crush them. I bind them and I render them powerless in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, remember, the Bible says the Lord will scatter your enemies, will destroy them. Those are the enemies. Every satanic dream, they are your enemies. Therefore, I am praying that every good things you have lost to the serpent, I pray that you will recover. You will recover back by fire. You will recover everything you have lost. Serpentine as rose has taken. Snake has taken. Satan has taken. When I say serpentine, snake, python, dragon, it is all about Satan. But the different names. They have taken things, good things from you. I command them to return them by fire in the name of Jesus. Anything you have lost, your money you have lost, your children, your husband, your wife, anything you have lost, in the mighty name of Jesus, I command them, you recover them. You recover them by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus yes. Christ. Yes, Lord. You demons of accident sent on the roads, I strike you by the fire of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I destroy all incarnation that you have made on the roads by the fire of God. In the name of Jesus. Now the enemy will go to attack the people in the roads. We were driving. Uh, on the, uh, we were going to the Toronto and we see very clearly just somebody cross and it was a uh, speed of 100 120 just wanted to kill people he decided to cross the Lord chanting a cross cutting people like this and then he hit the car he hit the car very hard and the car rolled and it's trying to come to us
but I raised up the hand and the car was stopped instantly like a spark. And that car could have come and hit us and the house could have run with that, with that car. You see the, the demon, they are demon witchcraft. They put demons on the roads. And now the person they, to kill people and they get blood there. That in the name of Jesus Christ, every demon in the road, I cross you, I bind you, I destroy you in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. All the arrows and incarnation which you have sent against us, which witchcraft have sent against us, incarnation, chanting, spells, they have sent against us. I thank them against you in the name of Jesus Christ. And I command that your own arrows, your own arrows, passes and destroy you in Jesus' name. Everything they are doing, yeah. let them go back to their sender. Let them go and destroy them in the name of Jesus. You don't need that. You don't need that. You don't need that. Any plans of the enemies, any plans of the devil, whatever they are planning, let them, by because they are, they are the owners, let them cut their own rod and die in the name of Jesus. I pray you demons and the other agents of Satan, I cancel all your words and incarnation against us in the name of Jesus Christ. I destroy all your projects against us by the fire of God in the name of Jesus. I cancel anything, any word, anything they are planning against us in the mighty name of Jesus. I cancel them. I cancel them. When, when, when uh, I, I always refer David and Goliath, you know what Goliath told David. When you look at David, he told David, you, you David, I'm going to kill you and give you the, your carcass to bat the hair. The, the, the parts of air will eat your carcass, will eat you. Now that was a witchcraft curse to scare David. And then David looked at him and said, no, 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 no. I am reversing your word. Your words will not prosper. It is me who is going to kill you and your carcass will be eaten up by the hair, the bats of the hair. Hallelujah. Yes. And that what is happening. So any word from the mouth of witchcraft, from anywhere, any wicked person, you will reverse them. It will not prosper in your life. You cancel it in Jesus' name. They will destroy themselves in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I try up the I try up all the blood all all the blood that you have in your blood bands by the blood of Jesus Christ. I try up all that you have, all the blood that you have in your bank, in your blood banks, by the blood of Jesus. I destroy by the fire of God all the human flesh and human powers that you have in stock in the name of Jesus. I destroy them, my God, in the name of Jesus. I dry up, I dry up all the blood that you have in your blood banks by the blood of Jesus Christ. I destroy by fire of God all human flesh and the human powers that you have in stock in the name of Jesus Christ. You know the letter, the letter that witches they, they, wrote, they, they wrote to me, it, they say they have power, human power. They get power from Satan, 6-6, six, six, they, they, they have sold their soul to the devil. So they have power, that's what they say. But that is a lie. There is no power the devil have than the power of Jesus Christ. No power. No power of darkness shall overcome the child of God. No power that a witch or a wizard or Satanist that has power than the power of Jesus Christ, than the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, than the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, I destroy every human power, human powers that people acquire from the powers from the kingdom of darkness, from, this, from Satan. I destroy them. I, I command them to be dried. Because they are using the blood. They, their powers, they demand human blood. Therefore, I dry their bank where they are storing that blood. Wherever they are storing the human blood, I, I dry them up. This is spiritual warfare prayer. And I know what they are doing. So I, I ask the blood of Jesus, the power of God, to go with, with fire and to dry up their blood bank that they are stored for where they get their power in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Lord, I bless you. I destroy all your, your, your scams 
they scan, they scan, they scan people. They scan you. They look at you like pepper. They put a mark on you. Now they scan, they see you anywhere, everywhere in the world. They have the mirror they are using. And when they, they see you, they call your name, you respond, you answer. When you answer the name, you are, when, when they call you, the voices, you hear the voices, somebody's calling you a clear, 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 even your first and second name. Very clear. You say yes, that is the end of your life. You will never be the same again. Those are the witchcraft scanner. They like to scan people and monitor people using their technology, satanic technology. Even this technology has not come in the world like the world of witchcraft. That's why they, they say they have power. But their power is useless. They are powerless in the name of Jesus. As you pray that, let their mirror break to their face. Let their mirror break their face. That's why they are afraid of me. I cast them. They can't call my name. They will try to call my name and I reverse them. I say, let your mirror, any weapon you are using, whatever method you are using to, to monitor me or to call my name or to call the name of overcomers, let that method burn upon you and cut you and destroy you in Jesus' name. Yes. We, we, are, we have suffered enough. So enough is enough. You don't have to give chance to the enemy to torment you anymore. You have raised up a standard as the, the Bible says. Yes. You demons holding our blessings, I strike you by the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Demons that is holding your blessings, I strike them. Any demon that the blessings belongs to you, that they are holding them. You ask God, God, my blessings must come to me. I declare my blessings belongs to me. I have repented. So God will have mass on me and I need my blessings. Let not the enemy accuse you all the time. When you repent, you need to repent, the Lord will have mercy on me. And the devil will release your, your blessings because they hold it. They hold until you suffer. Something which takes you just a day, you, re you require like months and months. Something which takes you one week to get it, it will take you years to get it. Because the enemy is holding them by the power and the blood of Jesus. Speedily, speedily, every blessing that is being held by the enemy, I command them to release them immediately in Jesus' name. Speedily, by the power and the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am praying for you. You demons broking the answers to, to our prayers. There are demons broking your, your prayer. They, they are work. When you start praying, they are fighting. They try to block your prayers. I sent fire of God to paralyze you in the name of Jesus Christ and release the answer to our prayers in the name of Jesus. You know, when you start praying, the, the demon will rise up bring destruction, we rest us to bring things on your head, the phones are calling, the destruction is coming, or you continue praying, but they are holding the, the, your blessings, your prayers, to check your upkeep, to check your, your record, all this, you have repented, you are a child of God, therefore, you are, God will answer you by fire, those demons holding your, your prayers, let them be destroyed in Jesus' name, command them, become very aggressive, tell them that demons, you are a liar, Release my blessings. Release my prayers. Don't touch my prayers in Jesus' name. You send fire to your prayers. Cover your prayers with your priest, with the blood of Jesus. Let's have your Bible. Cover your Bible with the blood of Jesus. Cover your prayers with the blood of Jesus. Tell the demons, tell the devil, you will not hold my prayers. My prayers must go direct to my father. When I ask him, he will answer me by fire. That's what the Bible says. Before even you open your mouth, God will answer you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, you demon of Freemason, Satanist, Eliminator, you are a liar. I strike you by the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. All of you, agent of Satan, fasting against us, I strike you by fire of God in the name of Jesus. You know, they, they go fasting and praying like us, chanting, speaking evil against the prayers, against our work. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I destroy them by fire of God in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All your information that you are holding in your world of darkness, all our information that you are holding in your world of darkness, I destroy them all by the power 
of God in the name of Jesus Christ. And I cancel all the incarnations that you have made with this information against us in the name of Jesus. You know, they take all your information and they take to the to the world, to the world of, of, of darkness. They take all your information. They can get them from, from their resources. Now they will ask you your identity, your date of birth. They can use even your date of birth to, de de to destroy your life. They like to ask date of birth and they will get your information and they use it. So therefore, I take authority against all the information that the witchcraft have in their world of darkness or of darkness to be destroyed. I set them fire that all those information they have to catch fire and be famished in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. I am going to pray for you because you don't know what the enemy is doing. Where you are taking your head for 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 for, for to, to be to be to be to be to be cut. Wherever you are taking your your hair dresser, your 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 papa, where you are taking your 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 your, your nail, bed cue, money cue, you don't know where you are taking them. And there are wicked people who knows how to use those stuff. They can use them, and and and, and they use very well, and they make it people to be to, to start having problem. In the Africans, we know this this there a lot. Canadian people, I don't know if you know this. But in African, we know this is what the witches use. The witches use yes. things like, uh, like anybody from Africa, they can be, uh, they can be my witness and say yes, amen. They can use yes. things like yes. hair, yes. nails, dress, and other that are holding. They use things like that, and they tie them on the tree and they bury them so your life would be miserable. Therefore, I pray, all your objects, all objects, hairs nails dress and after that you are all in i set the fire of god to, de to destroy them in jesus name we destroy yeah. them maybe one time when you are a kid the witchcraft have taken your stuff and they are using against you and you are not aware they are now working manifesting because they will wait the time you know the program that you can go get your degree get your certificate but you will never achieve anything or you will be in canada in america but you are there like a picture. You have nothing. You lose everything. They program that. And it is true. That is the work of witchcraft. Therefore, I destroy them in Jesus' name. We pray that God will set people free. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray. All of you sorcerers. You witches. You sorcerers. And the wizards. And the witches. Familiar spirits. Operating in this quarter. In this half here, I destroy all your powers by the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I destroy all your laboratories and the works in the name of Jesus Christ. I free all the peoples, all the persons that you have held captivities in the name of Jesus. This is the prayer where yeah. the, the witchcraft they don't want to hear this. When you release captivities, they hate that because they have to release them. They get fire. They get banned. It is true. It is true. It is true. My 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 spiritual uh, father, when I told him what happened, he was very happy. He said, "Yes, yes, my daughter. That is very good." They get banned, and yes, they are dying. It is true. They they are affected because if you if you are not affecting their kingdom, they could not even know you. They don't. They can't even. They don't know you. But now they know you because you are affecting them. So he was very happy, and they told me, "Keep on." Keep on, run, keep on and, and destroy them. So I pray that anything witches and wizards they are having against you, against your life, against your family, they will be destroyed in Jesus' name. I want every one of you to, to plan to go and donate an amount. I want to present your donation to the heaven. And the, your heaven will be open and your blessings will come. Those people are struggling with financial problem jobs go and donate to our ministry i will take your donation to the heaven and and many people they don't know that you must pray until your heaven be open clear so that your blessings will go when your heaven has not been open then the blessings will not will, will not go that's why you see the enemy is easy to cut the, your blessings and hold them you, even your your your, your gift your your donation your titan over it 
it, the Bible says that the Lord will open windows of heaven and bless you. Now, windows of heaven is costly for many people. Their window, the windows has not been opened. So we will pray God to open the windows of heaven. Uh, one time, I was praying to the, uh, the, the offering in our prayer, prayer, our prayer meeting. And when I raised up the prayer, the, the basket, the windows of heaven was open, jump! And the Lord received the, the blessings and the, their gift. So everyone in that meeting was blessed. And they experienced double portion blessings. I'm telling you the truth. You receive heaven open. The Bible says, if you want, go and search. Go and search in the internet. Go and search about the opening of heaven. When, when Stephen, Apostle Stephen was stoned to death, heaven opened and, they, and, they, and, they, they, and the heaven received his spirit. So that's how you know. You need to know your heaven if it's closed or, 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 or open. Now, that's why I need you to bring your tithe and offering or your donation and amount you can donate so that I can pray for you. Your heaven will open in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. Yes, Lord. My God, my Father, I want to thank you so much. I thank you this morning. I pray that God will help you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Felma. Thank you for coming. This is your host, uh, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi, saying bye-bye to you. See you tonight, midnight. Don't forget to go to our website, www.overcomers dh ministries.blogspot.ca go and donate an amount if you can donate an amount this time of prayer and i thank those people who have been donating or are giving and for sure god will open your your heavens and god will, 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 will open windows of heaven and you will be blessed these attacks of the enemies it will not function it will become faithful and you give to the right place I'm telling you the truth. We are on prayer. We pray that God will deliver our 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 family, our children, and and the rest of the family that who are not saved. That God will save them in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. We thank God and Amen. thank you for everyone. Thank you so much. I know some of you are going to go back to work. It's morning, so you can start your day. God bless you so much. See you tonight, twelve midnight. Invite your people. Invite friends. Give them this number. Call them. Remind them. Because some of them, they will be sleeping. So I, I, I don't know if the lady from New York is, is on the right. Uh, the red call, Kamel, the one we prayed for, for the one who was not sleeping. Then after the prayer, she was sleeping. She said she was sleeping like a baby. I don't know if you are on the right. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. We thank God. If you are not there, so we thank God. We thank God for everything. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you, Doctor. Bye bye. Oh, my sister, you are there. Thank you for coming. I was coming. there last night too. Yeah. Okay. Yes. God bless you. <laughs> thank you so much. Yes. Yes. Okay. Bye bye. Yes, bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye.